CataractCoach.com, case 350 with a dense cataract. Hey, great job with this tough case. Now, we talked about learning and that case number 500 is probably halfway up the surgical learning curve. So for case 350, this is a beautiful job. Because just keep in mind, for your own personal skill set and level, at case 350, you're not even halfway up the learning curve. So nice incision there. Here's the viscoelastic. You may want some tripen blue dye just to get better visualization, but okay. I like your forceps. Have marks there that are at every millimeter, it looks like, so you can judge your rex size. My forceps just to have two and a half and five millimeters, but getting a nice, good, generous rex is, I like this. Don't make a baby rex, I agree with you. Let's get a five and a half millimeter rectus easily, just so you can get this big, chunky, dense nucleus out of the bag. So here we go, a little hydrodissection. Hard to see the fluid wave because the nucleus is so opaque. Video sped up at three times normal speed. That's so we can get through it in a reasonable time. You know, I studied decay times, meaning when you start a video, hundreds of people start the video. How fast do people fall off the video and quit the video and fast forward or, or skip the video or pass it and go to the next one? I study all this. That's why we got to get to the good parts quickly. That's why we're showing a lot of videos in 3x speed or 4x speed or you get the idea. Now, chopper going in looks like a nice little sharp chopper there. Maybe doing horizontal type technique. Chopper going there. Okay, placing the chopper under the rexus. Buzz in with the nucleus. Buzz, buzz, buzz with the phaco probe and get that chop going, chop going, chop going. That's dense. Look at that thing. Uh, now pull apart. Can you split it? It may not even want to go. That's okay. Just buzz in again and do it again. There it is. Look at that. Prop getting that crack. This dense nucleus is kind of fibrous. See how the pieces don't want to fully split? They're still kind of attached there. I'd rotate it a little bit more. Get that in front of you and see if you can, you know, do it again. Hey, let me tell you about cataractcoach.com, the teaching website. So much great material. You will learn so much. Plus, you guys are missing out if you're not listening to the podcast. Every Sunday, a great podcast, only an hour long. The subject of the podcast, the secrets to your success in the future. Literally check it out. That's literally what it is. It's just like your secrets. Like, let me teach you how to be a better ophthalmologist. Let me teach you how to be more successful in your career. If you can be better than me, I will support you 100% of the way. Do what it takes. I'd love to see all these young cataract coach fans far exceed whatever I've done in life. Come on, I'll support you. I'll help you. Let me know how. Now, buzzing in here again. Let's do more chops. And look at that. That's a pretty, see how it's fibrous? The pieces don't want to split apart. That's the dense cataract where it comes like fibrous back there, especially the posterior plate. This is why you got to just take your time here. Using phaco power modulations, look at the good job floating within the incision with the phaco probe. You don't want to push up against the size of the incision. You're using more and more energy here. You better know the phaco power modulations. Use a burst mode, a pulse mode. If you're using a pulse mode, get that duty cycle to at most 50%. Do you know what these modes are? You don't know what a duty cycle is? Come on, there's a whole 10-part series on Cataract Coach to teach you all this. So now, splitting those pieces again, that fibrous plate makes it tough. You can tilt up that piece there and ch sub-chop it again. So great work with the chopper. By the way, like your draping, like the eye in primary position. Eh, a couple of straight lashes I'm not going to bother with, but I, I, I do appreciate the way you're putting the effort in there, keeping the eye in primary, and the whole case, the microscope is actually focused. So now taking these pieces out nice and easy. Remember, as the last pieces come out, there's very little or no cortex weighing down the capsular bag. So be careful as that last piece comes up. Don't let the capsule come up too. So chop, chop. And then the last piece, I usually put the smooth back side of my chopper, uh, you know, behind the probe just to prevent the posterior capsule from coming up. I don't aim the sharp tip part of the chopper towards the posterior capsule. I do the back end of it. And then here are the pieces coming out nice and easy. I do like the pivoting in the incision. There's no fake wound burn here. That's a great thing. And then you can also recode the endothelium if you need to. In these cases, as you do the cataract surgery, you're putting in more and more phaco energy. Look at your machine. Look at the cumulative dissipated energy in the eye or delivered energy. And if it's very high, you may want to just stop periodically and recode the, vis the cornea with viscoelastic. That's the endothelium. Look at that. Cleaned up beautifully. Now just time for some cortex and, and clean up and call it a day. This is a beautiful case here. This is really... I got very little to offer you. You have great skills. I do appreciate the skill set here a lot. You just got to do more and more and more cases. I think everything so far in this case is pretty good. I don't really have any criticism for you. And you know me, I like to criticize sometimes. Well, sometimes. Now taking out the cortex with the, the coaxial uh, IA probe, that cleans up very nicely here. And now we'll get that lens in the capsule bag. Wow, just imagine how happy this patient is going to be. 
That's really what an amazing difference here. Get that dense, you know, brunescent cataract out of the eye. And for case 350, I think you're doing a fantastic job. By the way, tomorrow is a video for case 35. Different surgeon, but only one-tenth the amount of experience. And so we can see the differences there in surgical skill. So here we go. Get the, oh, loading up the lens yourself. I like it. Good job. Fantastic. There's a single piece of acrylic lens. And getting that delivered in there. Now get the eye back in primary. Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? Don't do, don't do, don't do that. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that, that's unnecessary. You can do a better job than that. As you start to get the lens in the eye, then flat, get the eye back in primary. I would prefer using a chopper in the second hand to kind of fixate the eye. So that's my one suggestion in this case. I didn't like the eye well delivery at all. You can do a much better job than that. And again, I, I can tell you that because I'm not your friend. I'm your coach. Your coach has to tell you the truth. Coach can't, the coach can't sugarcoat it for you. That Iowa delivery must be improved. So I mean, another case in the future, make it much prettier than this one in terms of Iowa delivery. The rest of the case, fantastic. Keep up the good work. Hey, and my viewers, leave a comment below. Let's help this young doctor out and get better with surgical skills. Plus, remember the Cataract Coach Podcast every single Sunday, an amazing podcast. You will learn so much, I promise.